For the dough we need 200 gram of smashed potato cold, 200 gram of flour, simple one, two egg yolk, noce moscata and salt. Okay, now we start to prepare the dough. We put under the flour, not all the flour, just keep it a bit on the side so we can use it after. And we make a, a kind of Vulcano, Vulcan. Potato. The egg. Just a bit of salt and a noce moscata. It's gonna give a nice uh, taste to the dough. With a fork, cap, we try to put together the flour and the potato in a way that we don't dirty everything. As you see, the egg is gonna stay sticky on everything, so it's gonna be easy to keep it clean. Okay, when you are at this point, you start to put it all together. And you press. It's easy. So. Now when you have something like this, that is start to be together but is not completely ready, take a bit of the flour on your hand and you try to clean it. Try to take down at the most of the dough that is on your hand. So then after we can start to work in a clean way. We just put everything together, other flour from one side and the other. And then we start it like a pizza and we fold it and we fold it. Yes. You're gonna start to feel it when it's ready because uh, it's not gonna stick on your hand anymore. Uh, at least really softly. As you see, it starts to become really like a dough. It doesn't look like a gnocco anymore. Once we are at this point, that we have this uh, nice bowl, we leave it in the cooling for uh, one hour, two hour. And then it's gonna become smooth. And then we can start to work with it. For the filling of the gnocchi, we are gonna use 100 gram of gorgonzola, 100 gram of mascarpone, and 50 gram of parmigiano. And we are gonna take the mascarpone and the gorgonzola together, and we are gonna bang it in one bowl. The filling has to become uh, Workable. I mean, uh, you have to be able to work it with to work it with your hand after. When we have this mix, we use the parmesan for give it the uh, density that we need. Now we have uh, the massa, we're gonna cover it and put it for one hour 
in the cooling. So then after it's gonna be hard enough and we can make the balls that we need to put inside of the gnocchi. Okay, after one hour, this is uh, what we have. As you see, it's a nice piece of uh, cheese. We are gonna wet our hands a bit. The moment that we help the dough, the, the filling to don't stay sticky on our hand, and we make nice and beautiful balls. You do like this till, uh, till you have uh, the, the quantity that you need. Depends how much people with this uh, with this dough, with this filling, with the amount of the of the, of the recipe that we are doing here, we can do uh, for, for to four to five people because the dish uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, is a strong one, so it doesn't need a lot per person. Now we're gonna filter a bit to the flour, so then we have uh, a nice base where we can uh, start to make our uh, gnocchi. As you see. The dough, after one hour and a half, is nice and smooth. Okay, we put it here. I think maybe it's better if I start with half. We try to give, uh, we can do the form that we want, we can make it round, we can make it uh, square, it's, uh, it's up to you to make the form that you want. I do it like this because uh, I like it, Just uh, that's just my way. The dough, it will be... I think uh, five millimeter, not more. Okay. This piece is for two and a half now. So we close it. like this cut it and I repeat you can give the form that you want this is an example and this is one and that we have filled it if you want to make it round round you can take the other pieces, bring them together because they're still wet enough to be possible to put them together. Put it inside, just close it like this. And then you have a beautiful bowl filled with that. Now here we have uh, two different kinds. We made it uh, square and we made it uh, a bowl. Uh, for a portion, uh, I think, Three, four, it depends how much uh, how hungry you are. Uh, I personally I can eat ten, but uh, it depends uh, it depends on you. Uh, for the sauce, for the sauce it's gonna be we need three ingredients: sali, butter, egg, knoflo, garlic. So really easy. We put already the pan on, so it's hot. We put it inside our butter the leaves of the sali that are gonna become cro crocant and gonna give a lovely taste garlic you can use it you cannot use it it depends what you like in the meantime we soak the water for cooked gnocchi we put inside the gnocco 
the temperature is gonna go down. Okay, so maybe it's gonna start to, 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 to bubble a little less, but that's okay because we need it that boil lightly because otherwise we take the risk that it breaks the gnocco. The risk. Now the butter is gonna take the taste of uh, uh, the salad and the garlic, which it match together perfectly. In the meantime, you can prepare your dish. You see? That is becoming more brown. This is the point that we need to take it out. We don't want it more than this, more cooked than this. Otherwise we take the risk, the risk, let it burn and we have to do everything again. Now the gnocchi are almost ready. As you see they are starting to floating. Now that we know that everything is close, we can bring higher the temperature, so it's gonna start to boil again. And we take, we take, uh, uh, so then we are sure that the inside is gonna be nice, melted. You can pull it up and touch it, and then you feel immediately if inside is melted or not. Now that we are at that point that they are coming up, we put our gnocchi in the butter. So we, we, have to, we, go, we have to put a bit of the butter on top, so then it can give a nice beautiful taste. I'm sorry that you cannot smell it. The dish like this is actually ready. We can put it in the plate. If you want a bit, of, a bit more of parmesan, you can put it inside. But it's up to you. Shall we open it? Oh my god! Ah, uh, this is beautiful. Huh? I'm gonna eat it. Hope it's not too hot. Uh -huh. It's my clear. 